fucking shouting. Go outside, COs. You're trained better than that. Sorry, that's my fault. Yeah, take it outside. Just got told to come inside. Cox, get that one in line. He's They'll fucking find dick. you. Who is this one? I don't get this one. Okay. Fuck me. I know she's a lesbian. Okay, Sarah, man. You got defeated by trees in the movie, so get fucked. I'm hanging up on you. You got defeated by trees. This is going to shit. All right. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> is everybody here? It looks like yeah. it. All right. Uh, One, two, three, four. There's only so four. So first things first, we got Brian back. Most important thing. I'm glad you're alive, Brian. Yeah. Yeah. Brian, do you want to speak? You're kind of cool for this. <sighs> I'll listen. Well, you called for this, so I, that's why we're here. I just kind of... <sighs> what, uh... How long did it take to know that I was uh, kidnapped? Uh, as soon as you were queuing your radio. Mm. Uh, and then we had all units go off, uh, explain where their locations were. Then we realized that you were being taken up to Sandy Shores. You were still mm. on the radio at the time. And then uh, that's when they took you off duty. We had Air One in the air. Uh, we were out there looking for vehicles that were driving erratically, any kind of unusual patterns or high rates of speed. Did we, uh, um, did we check the uh, clothing stores? I don't know. Yeah, maybe units did uh, on their way to different locations. I was checking all the ones that I know that we've been taking to in the past. Yeah, well, yeah we, Den I... was the one suggesting uh, places in the past where he had been taken when he was mm. kidnapped. Yeah, what we heard on radio was, uh, I'm in the back of a truck. So we immediately started looking for a truck away from Sandy Shores. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, they could have changed vehicles. They could have been fucking anywhere at that point. But we started checking all known locations. We were going to places on the coast, different islands, humane labs, different fucking random garages, uh, all the docks in the, in the, in the different parts of the city. And then when we were, when we were flying over Alter Street, uh, recycling center, I saw a heli uh hovering over the construction site the tower we found you guys and that's where we made contact mm -hmm. uh eugene hung up the phone after he said he was gonna call me back he said uh he was saying all kinds of fucked up stuff he was saying that you were sick of pd's bullshit he was saying uh that you would shoot down air one mm -hmm. clearly mm -hmm. i didn't believe any of that uh but he hung up and said he would call me back he didn't make any kind of demands or anything like that and then they started shooting so I didn't want to uh, start shooting back so I don't I didn't know your status so mm -hmm. I tried to contact Eugene again got no response from him they took off we chased uh, again I didn't want to shoot down the helicopter because if you're inside it last thing I want is for you to get hurt um that one then had to break off because we were running out of fuel we lost sight of the helicopter I got a phone call from Eugene saying that you he would give me his loca your location for fifty thousand dollars and before I could make any kind of deal we got a 911 from a dock worker saying that somebody had been dropped from a helicopter. So we had units all sent to that. <laughs> and that's uh, that's where we're at. I've had several phone calls from Eugene since. I called him old, so he wants me dead. Uh, and uh, he has been watching us. He knows he has a warrant. Obviously, we're going to have a warrant. Everyone has finished writing it. Uh... Yeah, I don't really have anything else to say other than that. The charges I have at the moment are kidnapping a government employee, attempted murder of a government employee. It's a 70 month sentence. So, but I'm going to finish weapons are also uh, taken. Your okay. weapons were taken? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the doctor also said that your ID was taken. Uh, possibly. I, I don't know. I don't know when this ID in my pocket. I happen to have one. I don't know if they put, took it or not. Okay. I'm sorry. What All are right. the charges? 
Uh, so all I have right now before we've had your statement is kidnapping a government employee, attempted murder of a government employee. Mm. So, uh, but again, I Where need to take weapons? a statement. So as in the, you know, the weapons, that's probably going to increase. Yeah. But we'll, we'll do that statement in a sec. I just wanted to get everybody in here. If anybody had anything to say, uh, or you in particular, Brian, but uh, if you're okay, then we'll go and have uh, a chat in the captain's office. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, we should. Who took the weapons? That's what we're about to find out. I'll okay. get it in the report. I don't know. All right, let's go and have a chat. Thank you very much, everybody. Uh, there's a lot of you guys are all cadets, okay? <laughs> so, and there's not many qualified, like fully qualified, qualified officers around. I trust you guys, but if you're unsure about a situation, I need you to ask and be sure about the action you're taking before you do it. Is that clear? Yes, yeah. sir. Uh, yes, sir. I, I just wanted to. I just wanted to say that I appreciate uh, whoever started saying channel two, channel two, because I went on duty and I was on the normal radio and I kept on between radio checks and I didn't get a response. I was really like confused. I mean, I know I came in a little later, but I'm glad that whoever did channel two, channel two, it helped out. Kind of okay. know what's going on. Yeah, I saw your car and I kept radioing like, why weren't you responding to me? And then we realized that you just went on duty. Yeah, that's why I appreciate whoever started saying channel 2131 it helped because i was really confused what was happening yeah that can happen sometimes mentions, this is one of those things copper mentioned the bcso car and then i'd seen you tweet previously so i put two and two together i was like oh well, i guess he doesn't know uh i, I do I have one question as well just one thing before you do chat uh all of you apart from you chat all of you have just got a solo if you're confident you should be going for uh for your final evals don't sit in solo for a long time it doesn't do you any good and it's also uh, not ideal having this many cadets on duty and fully qualified officers in queue that can't get on duty mm -hmm. yeah um so, about that when do do we have to do don't we have to do like 14 uh session of who the, solo who the fuck told you that oh i, I just I heard that what a, i, I was told was. today that cadets are being told they need to do evaluations to, to have a solo certification which is also total bullshit. So yeah, I don't know where the situation yeah. has been coming from, but that's not true. Yeah, uh, they made us do a solo evil. Yeah. Who? who where, how, where did that come from, and who said that? I did my solo evil with Baz. Yeah, I as well. Okay. I, with okay. I don't know where the solo evil shit has come from, but that's not something we do. Once you get all your sign-offs, you go to solo, sir, and then you go for your final evil. That's where the evaluation is. Yeah, Raven actually told me that it once once I got all five of my certifications, he then said that you're clear for solo eval, but you need to work on getting that last certification. Okay, so well, I'll see. Somebody's been before. taking drugs somewhere down the line, but we'll resolve that, and I'll make sure it's... Yeah. I'll get it clarified with High Command, and they can put some kind of announcement out, because this is dumb. Yeah, so we just ask around if we could do our final eval, and, but we can technically do it whenever we feel comfortable, right? I think it does say 14 days. Yeah, I thought. It, I, 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 I don't understand. It just that needs to be that needs to be rethought out because having you guys sitting in solo for a long time is is stupid. You just need to go to your final evals. How long have you guys been solo? Mm, uh, I'd for me, like fifteen days. Or yeah, yeah like weeks. two weeks. There you go. So yeah, final mm -hmm. evals should be going through by now. Yeah. Well, I was, I did my final eval what day fifteen of being solo. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. why I swear I read somewhere that you're supposed to do fourteen days of solo. And not have any like complaints or anything, and then you're yeah, being clear. Yeah, yeah, and that's what I was saying. It's probably SOP. There's a lot of shit that I questioned in SOP, and they said disregard it. I feel like solo yeah. eval. I, I don't know what's been going on, but I'll, I'll get some clarification on it and and see where if if this is something it's that's not been a bad pushed idea. down the line, then I don't I haven't heard anything about it, so I don't know. I don't, yeah, I, I understand. Uh. I'd love okay. to do my 100% it's rushed. 100 If you guys are confident, then ask... Uh, I think that so OC and IC. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Sounds good. Alright. Hey. Alright. I'm gonna go get a fake beard. Hey, right, so... Don't do that. Uh, my question was to you, Snow. Uh, when they were taken off, Obviously, I shot at the back tail Not to kind of like disable it a little bit. Manly. Yeah, uh, you had no, already said that, that but I just wanted to make sure that, that was the right call. Because like I wasn't aiming for them, but you know I tried to hit the back tail as much as I could before I took off and chased after them. Uh, 
okay. I, I I don't just can I just deal with this fucking warrant shit first and then we get back. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Alright. Alright, Brian, can I ask you a few questions about the cadets? Yeah, let's uh Can we go to the office? Yeah. Yeah, let's go to the captain ball. Right. Feel you on that. Yeah, let's say something else. So um I said I feel you on so that. I so, I mean, like, I think, so look you know, at that and stuff like that. Will it be better if it's like a balance out nine. ratio? Because I'll, I'll be fine. I, I, I don't three. know. I have no idea. I just get. I, I don't know. That's like a on shit. Alrighty. Sounds good. All right. So first of all, with the cadets, which one of those guys are actually ready? None of them. They all should never have been an uh, officer. This is, this is, uh, I don't know why there's this desire to fast track, um, uh, are you fucking, cadets uh, okay. into officers. Oh my God. Just don't for the sake of this, doing Brian. it. I, I, I tried bringing it up. I got reprimanded and suspended. Um, I, okay. and I, and I see it every day. Their the eagerness is good you coddle that eagerness and you have a fucking shit show that's why the chain of command is, is is as far as i'm concerned pretty non-existent at the moment at least in our ship yeah yeah um, it seems like it they've Hopefully got great potential on. don't get me wrong but you know this is going to be a shit show in a couple of weeks yes i will, will. say of the lot um king is uh okay king That's stands good. out i i don't have full information on these cadets so i gotta trust your word on this and, it, and it's not it's, I just don't it's ultimately not my call right i maybe i don't know what i'm talking about right i'm, I'm just Brian, a senior you're officer. an fto right no. are you an fto no i'm trying to be uh he applied that was one of the things on the docket. Snow to vote. Uh, I didn't think I wanted to be, but after the shit I've seen, uh, I, I feel like I need to. Mark him back tonight. Took to the same trap. I'm gonna see if I can. <laughs> I, I don't understand Bailey. what's been going on in this. Like, why, where, where, what's, why, uh, how are none of these Apparently people ready? How have they got solo the if they're not ready? What is going on? A firm being so, a for a running color dominated. The reality is, and Bass is the only one training him, and this is not a slight against him. He's been doing fantastic, but yeah, Bass he is fantastic. does it's most of the FTOing. I, I, we just don't have the. Remember, uh, we've firm, always had a. Get in contact with Bailey and see if we can how do I put this? Eugene out. Or actually, um, we, no, stand by. I'll talk to him. We've had. We've had a staffing issue. For a long time right now we're staffed but i don't know it's it i think the answer is complicated yeah i mean i don't think it's, it's a full conversation to have right here to be isn't, honest this isn't this the is, first time this kind of thing has happened no no i we we've i, I would mm, i have a lot of things i would like to say right now but i don't think it's appropriate for me to because uh, uh, I, everything you just said, Brian, is everything that uh, used to happen. Yeah. And that, and then for whatever reason, stopped happening because we were asked to push through cadets at a very high pace, high turnover, easy peasy. All of us at the same time were saying, no, that doesn't work. You need academy. You need all kinds of things. But high command were pushed to remove that, frankly. I'm just going to be blunt. And now, shock horror, Pika, you know, Pikachu surprise face. Everyone's realizing, oh shit, actually, that did actually work, and we should be spending a long time training cadets. Mm -hmm. Shock horror, maybe we actually knew what we were talking about and we're doing it right. I don't even think necessarily, I, I mean, it's not even necessarily the promotion. <laughs> it's the promotion implies readiness, right? And when there's certain key factors that show up as problems um 
if those aren't corrected and instead is rewarded with a promotion, it sends the wrong mes message, not just to them, but to the others in their class. He's been promoted. Well, I'm just saying in general, right? Like, uh, well, I, I even, I look at solo cadet as a promotion in and of itself. Yeah, it's a privilege. I, I look at solo to officer as, um, is, is in and of itself a promotion. But look, I, th this is just, this is only my opinion, right? I mean, I, it doesn't mean I'm right. It doesn't matter. Your opinion is still valid. And you're correct. I don't know why you would shoot out with saying that. I, I, was, I was, just to be clear, I was shoot out for pointing out the lack of... Uh, what I saw is a break in chain of command, right? There's a time and a place. And I feel like that's... I don't know. I personally don't think it's there. I, I, I don't know. It's, I, I've got a lot of feelings. I try not to think about these things any longer. If you want me to be honest. I do and I don't. I, I don't know. I'm sort of torn on whether we, uh, I should give a shit Bailey about it. He's all good for now. Giving a shit. Uh, why, why would you not want to give a shit about it? Yeah. Because if you can't, if it feels like you can't push for a correction, then why push in the first place? It's a waste of energy. Understandable. I can understand that. My problem is, is, uh, I, I just, I really, I, I don't understand why, uh, I don't know. I'm I'm kind of baffled. I'm I'm kind of baffled. Uh, and uh, if none of them are ready, and you say that I, I believe you, Copper, do you feel the same way? What for, officer or for their solo position? Solo officer, either or. To be honest, I felt like the training. I'm I'm gonna slightly disagree with what you were suggesting earlier. Um. You said cadet, the academy was necessary. Yeah. There were certain aspects of the academy that I've seen these guys come into the city with or into, you know, their cadetship with that. The academy absolutely, uh, there was definitely value. I saw it immediately. Yeah. They knew things that I, I know I damn well didn't know because I, I, I didn't have an academy. But mm -hmm. what they're missing that Toretti, myself, and Moulton got was an understanding of uh, chain of command, understanding uh -huh. that the superiors, you know, there, there, there's going to be times when you're going to push back, right? But there's that notion that you need to listen to that that individual in charge, and when that starts getting thrown out the window, then we're you're not going to get that. We're always getting trained, right? Even once you're an officer, mm -hmm. learning from those above you who've been around. But how's that going to happen if? The impression is once you're an officer, you've you've got everything you need. That's what it fucking feels like, as far as I'm concerned. What uh what reinforces that? Uh, is it um being left on your own? This seventy eight uh, uh it's a square vehicle with dumbass and some oh god, I'm bleeding out. The westbound just switch you boulevard? Six away. I'm watching the vehicle. Class two Sorry, with Cameron, the, the, the. Oh God. Okay. See how they perform. It's, uh, it's a vehicle with like yeah, a shark mouth this. on it. Convertible. Um. I'm westbound Vespucci, left side. I found in the last three weeks, I find myself okay, having okay. to shout over Six cadets, away, having me. getting second guessed with decisions. Things that I know because I've been around long enough, especially in this fucking shift. So when I have some dumb cunt trying to, oh, like, you know, talk over me or try to suggest something different, it fucking makes my blood fucking boil. And then when yeah, I get no, reprimanded because some fucking idiot wants to shout at me in front of uh, suspects, 
because of whatever dumb reason that's gonna fucking piss me off and then get reprimanded for it wait 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 what we don't need to talk about the examples it's just things that have been happening it's just no, it's that's, just a collection that's important because that's a problems a big a big thing for me is like it's one thing to that, you, you pull people aside because it's not for everybody else to know all i'll say is those circumstances have since been resolved and i'm not trying to open up that uh, box again but i'm only just bringing up the general sense of things and maybe i'm maybe i'm wrong maybe i'm focusing on the wrong things but how do you move as a unit as a team if there is no coordination you know like how do you do that without chain of command i i I don't know camo with like uh, night vision goggles and the only way you learn that is with a lot of time you learn by making the mistakes but if those mistakes aren't pointed out well then you know you just continue down that path all right that's pretty fucking concerning i mean snow remember uh what the before this last academy where we took all these doc the last there was like three different like coups against high command and command oh my fucking god yeah i remember that <laughs> uh i i know where the uh where the sense of entitlement came from with some people being a, a cop is a we've hey, said it, we a it's a privilege it's not a right Side, uh, chain of command is oh, extremely Brian, important and uh if some cadet was mapping off of me then mm. I, I i wouldn't i wouldn't stand for it uh at all and uh well actually given recently the the story aj filled us in on a situation with dan mm. that happened downstairs where he was showing him an immense amount, amount of, of disrespect and uh I, I i honestly don't know how i would have reacted if if that was me dan was in that circumstance correct in his opinion however him to have said that in front of the suspect was the biggest problem right yeah i mean there is something to be said about getting you know if you think a superior is incorrect in something, you bring them aside. You tell yeah. them you don't have that conversation. You get something. There's value that comes out of that, but you do it in front of a suspect. All of a sudden, it makes the PD look bad. It makes that officer look bad. And that removes any form of respect and authority. I mean, you're pulling the officer's pants down in front of people that you need to be showing authority on top of. Well, the officer's not going to learn anything because now they're more focused on the fact that may, they were made an example of in front of other people instead of taken away from the message that you're trying to tell them. Right. It's just not effective, and it's that's not how you get respect either so that the next time they actually listen to you or have any value of anything that you're going to say to them. But I, I don't know what the solution is because, like I said, we've been... Look, the shift has been way better than it ever has so i don't want to paint the impression that all is lost because it's not we're in a better shape than we were last month the month uh, before yeah. that the month before that however this is a concern and you know a call to finding a solution it doesn't fuck the sops whatever the solution is you know should you know a solution should be found and applied Hmm. SOPs well, are just guidelines, Brian. Well, it just seems like uh, you're refining, and you've refined down to this point. And it's just another thing that has to get worked through. Hmm. Yeah. So just to be clear, is this this isn't happening when Bass or Angel or uh, AJ are around, right? Because they're all fucking fantastic. I, I think it does. Do they get to, to, so obviously? And obviously, there's that story that AJ we've already talked about. AJ was disrespected. Has there been anything else like that? Um, at that level, no. Uh, well, uh, not particularly. You know Are when some listening to the sergeants, I, I think so. Um, I I shouldn't be the only one you get this opinion from, because like I said, my va- views may be more skewed. I, I'm I'm definitely of a different mindset than I was a month ago. 
And maybe this mindset might be a little too militaristic for all I know. But I've Well, you sound kind of jaded if I'm honest with you, Brian. Uh yes. That I've also been told that about me too, so don't worry. Yeah, I, I was like Copper. You sound like Snow and I two years ago. Yeah, you kinda do. Uh both of us have been doing this a very long time. All the issues you're talking about are uh it's nothing new, let's put it like that. But it doesn't mean that they're not valid. Sure. But uh not to either dismiss it or anything like that it's just one of those things that has to be continually refined and refined and readdressed and readdressed there's this like you know one thing about being a cop something that you learn over time is and i and i know people hate this phrasing because their impression of the phrasing i think is the, the phrase is misunderstood um the concept of understanding when something's okay and when it's not. That takes a long time to learn. And those who know how to do it have probably been around long enough, have put in the hours. They've gone through the, uh, the stresses associated with making the wrong choice versus making the right choice. You understand what I'm saying? I do. Yeah, yeah. Um, and is a question. I'm oh, sorry, Karen. If that's not being guided via some form of chain of command and not necessarily even reprimandation, but a notion that someone can pull you aside and be like, this is not how it's done. And this is why, and that correction is not does not occur uh, I'm afraid of what's gonna afraid of what's gonna I, I don't know I don't know maybe maybe uh, I don't know I I might just be talking out of my ass maybe the I I don't know I might be I I'm not sure if I'm torn between knowing I think I might be being too hard I don't know no brain hold on after everything you've been through, the fact that you're just talking is is great. You know, I would be more worried if you uh, were silent and bottling everything up. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. We don't have the representation we still need in the NA in the NA shift. We really don't. You don't have the what? Sorry. Representation. From a high command level, um, we don't really have that during EU either. Well, no, we don't yeah, really but have you have the command. veteran. You have enough. Um, I, I, maybe this is just you know, as I'm reflecting on this, maybe it's just going to take some time to get it sorted out because, yeah, I mean, you Snow, you're around you often, right? You've got yep. Colombo around. You guys have yep. been around for a long That's time. So titles That's aside, you do have the experience. Right, and we Cobra don't have more experience than I do. By the way, um, but uh, I will say about high command. Uh, I just want to be clear. You know, they're not just here because they're lazy as fuck. It's because uh, you know, as I think there are some, especially with Andrews uh, and Metzger, or you know. Which I think everyone, I don't even need to say exactly why, but I think we're on the understanding that they're busy. <laughs> Pretty fucking busy. Yeah, yeah. And I think that would actually, when Metzger's around, things, like I said, this isn't, these are just they things to consider, things I think. I, I do think uh, the cadets need a lot more training okay. and the, the new officers. Do you think um, they would benefit more from being solo or do you think it's worth getting them with FTOs again? Or, alternatively, a uh, another training weekend. I think we just need to collectively, as a department, those who have been around for a, enough time, start 
trying to teach more about situational awareness. I think that's yeah. the right choice. The con Not continued that is... mentoring. Yeah. You gotta remember is that with you that need as well more as you can't AJ teach Hunters. that kind of thing to everyone. You need more, you need more AJ Hunters, yeah. Yeah. Um Bass as well. I mean look, yep. if if it wasn't for Bass, NA would be a fucking shit show because at least now we yeah. have a fucking sergeant. But the thing is one man can't hold it all up. You yeah. know what I'm saying? He's a really good team. So, so while he's very effective and so has done you. so much, it's it's not enough for one man. Or it's too much for one man. Hello. Yeah, I'm still riding a war. You have no idea. This fucking. What do you mean? Nope. Nope. I'm at Mission Row at the moment. Oh, that. Yes. I will find out, Eugene Zuckerberg. No, he's not hiding at all. I think, uh, Knight, that time is one of the she, oh, biggest factors as far as, uh, mm. shaping and divorced. rounding out officers. That's right. I mean, I mean, we can Goodbye, use yourself Eugene. as an example, uh, right? Yeah. Like, how you were as a cadet, even as you were going towards your solo, uh, even when you first made, uh, it into officer. I mean, you have definitely gotten the brunt of a lot of situations and you definitely have been identified by large gangs and targeted and you've been a victim of a lot of their abuse um but a lot of it had it comes with time as far as like pulling up to a situation knowing who it is that you're talking to no one to push for no one to pull back you know what i mean yeah and that's a hard thing to it it does it comes with exposure and time right and those two things. And I, I so, think that's why it's so furious when chain of command is broken. Because it hits us all real hard. But, it, it, you know, it's hard to explain all these feelings without, I don't know. Um, nonetheless, I mean, I don't know. Like, I, we've got Hunter in, in queue right now. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> uh, he was... He was up next, but he jumped to the back. He was up uh, about mm. two and a half hours ago. Nice one, AJ. I just, nice. I, I just kind of wish like we could bring him in. You know what I mean? I just don't know if uh, maybe he didn't get his phone call. I think like, he missed, missed phone his phone call. call. Yeah. yeah, he did. I've been 100%. talking to IT actually to get something put together so you can just slot somebody in. Or he... what? Uh, yeah. Vehicle is slowing. Yeah. That's what we. I don't know. It's that balance right now. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just talking off the cuffs now. It's something I have to think about. I've I've kind of shut that part of my brain out until. Have you spoke to anybody else about any of this? Then, I've tried to, but you know, you have to understand that sometimes I'm very straightforward and blunt and uh -huh. that can sometimes be taken as <laughs> hello uh, do you know who you're speaking way. to right now yeah. are you fucking I'm kidding me most, no i know i'm talking to you but that's people. yeah but that's not the <laughs> but case we under, with everybody we understand. else well, i mean we can empathize with what you're saying so yeah. like depending on who your audience is break well, who the fuck is screaming over radio right now give me some proper comms or i will throttle you what the fuck is going on dan has been kidnapped that's why he's probably chatting on the radio which is channel two. All right. Fucking cadets. All right. Uh... But uh, the thing is, like, depending on, you know, the situation and uh, the setting, like, let's say it was after a situation, they're just going to dismiss it of like, oh, well, they're just mad because whatever kind of dumb thing and not actually listen to the message that you're telling them. Can we get an update? That's What's exactly happening? it. I'm gonna locate, uh, I think that's a, right a lot now. of the thing with uh, command I members and... Um, like when we reprimand Hold people, back, they're like, oh, well, they're just fucking pissed. Yeah, or I've been told that I'm just on my period. And it's just like, okay. It's like, if you have a problem, then you can fucking go off duty. Mm. 
I need to take a statement from you, Brian. Uh, do you, okay, main, the main thing right now is you know who told who took your guts. I'm sorry, I got to cut this conversation short. I just need to know who yeah. this fucking warrant. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I think it was Lang Buddha. Uh, I never saw his face. Eugene Zuckerberg. However, uh, I know because I asked him a series of questions that would give me enough between his voice, his clothes, circumstantial evidence. Um, I would be... I asked him about the mayoral ship and... I, I'd put it on Eugene. Mm. I'd have to think is about it. The, the, identify the, 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 the problem is that, you know, I think my memory is going to be put into question given the circumstances towards the end. Okay. Uh, I'm going yeah. to get a search and seizure warrant for Eugene. I'm getting an arrest warrant too. Uh, it's not going to be done tonight. I'm going to have this planned because it's not going to be easy. Yeah. This is going to probably be another... Remember when we raided Lean Boys last time? Mm. Uh, we'll have a separate squad go and do it. And officers that are on duty can go do whatever the fuck it is they want to do. But not what we're going to do. Uh, There's enough context in that, the conversation, Brian. actually, that I know Budo was there. 100%. Yeah, because I brought up the off duty. about how he soft snitched and he got really pissed at that. <coughs> you think I've got enough for a warrant for him? Yeah. I mean, if a yeah, hundred percent. Because if a judge wants to go and complain about it, they can eat my fucking dick. It's not our, you know, it's not our job to, you know, deal with their bullshit. Okay, this is what I'm gonna I mean, do. Uh, I'll definitely have a warrant out for Eugene with Buddha. I'm gonna consult the DA and see what he thinks. And then finally, there was uh, the guy who calls himself um, Dumbass. Ellie is the only one that I would have. I know it was her, but there's no way for me to pin her properly. There wasn't enough context in the conversation. Okay, did... Uh, okay, okay. Um, I just want to make sure I got the right details here. With the guns... Uh, I don't know at any point and I don't they, know what they did with it. Uh they took it off me. They could have gotten rid of him for all we know. Be on the lookout for any boats. Help <sighs> and they never pulled it out, line. right? So there is that. I think they I don't think you should push for anywhere? a raid. Fuck. I think there's multiple reasons and, and circumstances in which these individuals Hello. put themselves in a position to be raided and this is the least pc based uh, no, right one that i've seen in recent memory okay like there's there's enough times where eugene should be Have raided but we yeah don't. yeah he's told me about them he's told me all about them and it's weird but i feel like this would not be the right one to go for i I, th I think the warrants for the kidnapping and stuff i think that's good the raid I would not be comfortable with because I would want that to be solid and, and you know there's been enough times where we can identify them and they've got there's, 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 there's gonna be better circumstances this is not location so uh all we're gonna be going for here in terms of charges Let's for him kidnapping governor employee attempted murder i'm also gonna be going for extortion because he tried to get 50k for me to, uh, for me to get uh to get your location so all that is is an 84 month sentence with a six thousand three hundred dollar fine the question becomes like can we hmm. This is a more of a departmental thing. I'm going to be honest with you, Snow. Uh, you have to understand that my, in in my opinion, I, I would like to see high command define what our objectives are. And those raids should be objective based, less for finding things. And I would only want to raid Eugene if we, if I would only push this. I think we can get the PC for a warrant, but, but the objective would need to be more. Like we, he, we know that he probably doesn't have the guns. But I would have put. I would push for a raid if we think there's something else we're aiming for. Do you see? Do you know what I'm I do, trying yeah. to say? I do. Yeah, I do. I do. I got you. Okay. All right. I get. I get what you're saying completely. That makes sense to me. Okay. All right. I'm gonna get this out, and uh, I've seen him get him in, getting him into custody. I don't know if he'll fight any charges or anything like anything like that, but. 
This we'll see. Papa, could you check over this report once I've filed it? Yeah, let it? me know and I'll... Just let me know what you think of it. I need to add some more photos, but it's there for now. I, you know, it's good to have, uh, it's, it's good when I enjoy these conversations. No, there's not many office uh, officers that I feel, uh, in, in look, I'm just going to be frank. It seems like you actually give a shit. Yeah, we, we do. <laughs> but none of, neither cop or I would if 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 we were didn't think this was worth our time. I can promise you, we wouldn't fucking be. It. Um. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, I I think uh. I, I'm at Mission Row PD trying to discuss in the police department as a whole. You guys are just gonna have to come together as a team of cadets. Uh, Manly, if you need to lead this team of cadets, you go right ahead. Crack on. Uh, so, so, <laughs> give me a sec. So, we'll just send the cadets to their death and they'll figure it out. Uh, sometimes you just gotta throw them out there and they'll, they'll figure things out. They'll, as you said, they'll mm -hmm. make their mistakes, they'll do dumb shit, and they'll learn from them. That's how I learned how to be a cop. Yeah. <laughs> as long as we're there to, to mentor them, that I think is the piece that's super mm -hmm. missing right now. Well, and honestly, I'll, I'll, I think having five cadets on duty is fucking dumb. Yeah. Um, the, the way that the, the system that we used to be set up was we could have a maximum of three. What is it? It was two per one F, FTO. Mm -hmm. I, I uh, thought when I was, we, I was under the impression that there could only be two solos. It was, but top. it was removed because that there doesn't was a make lot of any sense. They get cadets through the system quickly. Yep. But, which did but not the help. thing is, like, that should only be the case if there aren't other officers available well i think we're overcomplicating it whatever this new change was to just push people out it's not working yeah it doesn't we, work. we tried a thing it doesn't work let's go back to what we've done before because it does work because we're having way too many complications and we're fostering bad habits and we're letting yes. shitty behavior and decisions and people ignoring call outs command chain of command and SOPs because of it like it's weakening what we're doing so it's fine that we made a mistake it's not working so let's just make a an executive decision and roll it back I agree with that I don't think Bobby would have an issue with that either to be honest with you if it came as a recommendation from FD well, I mean, and I can guarantee you it come from majority from FDOs. a lot of them to have an opinion when they're not experiencing it <laughs> and that's what True. we're here for as command because we're supposed to be the eyes and ears of high command to help them make their decisions. Go for 238. Negative. Yep. Just fuck it. If he does, he, he, I think he really needs to just fucking let him. You make that decision as the head of the flight, sir. 621, take the chopper for now, but if I get back out, I need you to ground it, okay? Um, I, uh, I, I completely agree with Copper. Completely agree with Copper. It's, um, having a, a system where they're monitored fully and we always have an FTO available to go to whatever call they're going to. They're not just completely left to their own devices, which some people, it can help them develop further and they can learn things on their own. Some people, it will help them develop really bad habits, as Copper said. And then they just become idiots or muff we'll say muppets. Like they just become a bunch hey, Brian, of fucking muppets. Do you, do you know what your uh, CID is? Uh, 1095. Uh, 10095. 10095. Last time he's seen anything, he's seen them eastbound off-road. Um, I'm going to uh, write a suggestion in the command channel to I command to bring back the limit on how many cadets we can have on duty because we need experienced officers during this time zone not a bunch of fucking newbies who are gonna do dumb shit yeah i mean even if it was just um if we they were able to fill the holes like for example if, the, if there was no co other cops on duty, I, I think it's perfectly fine, right? But if there's officers in queue, 
that restriction should be upheld. I, I, I don't know. That's how I feel. Hmm. Who's in the queue right now? Let's see. Uh, we have Minio, uh, Molten. Fuck. Hunter was in there. Yeah, AJ's really far back in the queue. Yeah, he was, uh, before Chet, but it seems like, um, he didn't get the phone call that, uh, yeah, he's available fucked. to get on duty. Shit. Um, he probably think... did, and then he just missed it, is my yeah, guess. Yeah, that's what I mean. He just missed yeah. the phone call or some sort. Shit. It happens. Uh, with, uh, with, with Chet, I think he's going to be fully qualified pretty soon anyway, so you got nothing to worry about there. But yeah, um, the rest of them, as you said, they're not ready. And them being on duty this this much with no FTO, super, well, they're not getting any supervision ready right now. There, there's certain priorities really that bad. we're overlooking in their training, as far as I'm concerned. Go on. Like I said, chain of command and yeah. looking how a room is setting is set. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think another academy could help them uh, but that doesn't necessarily mean to do, do the full thing we could be selective in what we go for when we aim for those specifics such as chain of command communications and i'm just gonna say it reading the room yeah so that's very very important let's let's be honest i think people that can help us teach well we have a lot of ftos that can help us teach that but in particular with this time zone there are specific people that will be extremely helpful in that. Hey, from Greg, being pulling source code for. So we need him to we need him for that. Um Yeah. I'll su I'm gonna suggest that and see what high command say. Hopefully they like it. Direct. Hey firm. Um we got fifteen minutes for the tsunami. You wanna help these guys out? Yeah, let's go fucking someone up. Alright. I gotta go grab my equipment. I have to get my radio. Um, I know some of you guys are gonna find that resident sleeper, but that was a good convo. Obviously, Brian isn't some of what i said was in character some of it was like a mix of ic and not ic so like for example reading the room is not really an ic thing right but from brian's pov in terms of coc it looks so it's so bad um what am i missing radio <coughs> And phone. For the most part, do you agree with what Brian said? I mean, uh, eh, I'm not like super. How do I put it? Oh, wait, isn't it duty one? There we go. Um, chain of command. Um, Highway uh, to a degree, like, oh, oh see, I don't for. super care. Like, I care that the server's healthy and the PD is healthy in relation to the server. I do think some complaints about the PD are valid. Some of the complaints are not valid. Um, or maybe some of the complaints are overzealous or over opinionated or too strict. Um, but I do think uh, breaking, <laughs> I do think COC's fucking shit right now, or Chain of Command is pretty shit right now. Um, which leads to, I think, a lot of frustration so and annoyingness. Uh, what am I missing here? Know. 